Hello shooters, today we're going to talk about the Aero Precision Lower Receiver uh, that they've in integrated in the lower receiver, the PDQ uh, bolt release. First of all, lower receivers, uh, there's a couple of categories lower receivers. There's plastic lowers, there's cast lowers. I stay away from those. Those uh, I, I don't consider those for serious work. Um, then there's the uh, forged mill spec lower, and there's a bunch of forged mill spec lowers on the market. And if it's a, if it's a true mill spec forged lower it doesn't really matter who made it you're, you're, you're good to go now you know barrels and stuff that that matters to me but uh, any any forged mill spec lower you're good to go uh, some forged spec mill fun, some forged mill spec lowers have different features that I like versus others and, and we'll talk about that and those are integrated here in the air precision lower and then there's the uh, there's the billet lowers where they actually take a, a chunk of metal and they machine all the way everything else except for what's left um, those don't function any better. Uh, they're no better than a forged mill spec uh, lower. They just sometimes look cooler and they cost more. Uh, but one thing I, I like about the the, the arrow lower, I, I like these pictograms better than safe and fire. I don't know why. I think this will look, look cool. Um, it's a nice clean looking lower. Um, the pictograms over here, uh, multi caliber, and like I said, everything is in the, all the pins holes are in the right place this 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 is a good to go lower it's a forged mill spec lower you're good to go so let's talk about the PDQ that they integrated into it as you can see there's this lever over here I I, I have run the Magpul bad lever and uh, another one I can't remember who I think it was made by Troy or whatever I don't like something coming through my trigger guard though it worked fine I just don't like it um, how however this it you know it's ambidextrous and it's as close to mirror image as you can get without spending a whole lot of money and getting a knights or somebody like that. Um, it's right here where your finger can operate it, somewhat like over here. It's different motion though, so it's not mirror image. It's not the very best in the world, but for you know for what they charge, it's a fantastic deal. Um, back on the lower, uh, you know one thing you want to make sure is that uh, it's gonna, you know I've checked it with Lancers, uh, USGI. Uh, every, everything drops free so you're good to go with the lower there um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out to the range I've got a uh, I've got a, another AR that's just a plain Jane lower receiver gonna do some type 3 malfunction clearance drills and see how much uh, time this shaves off I suspect it'll shave off sometime um, but uh, definitely check this out from Aero Precision their uh, PDQ. That's a really simple design. I like this PDQ. This PDQ bolt release. Cool. Let's go to the range and see how it really works. Okay, shooters, you can see in this chart that the PDQ is almost two seconds, sometimes more, two seconds faster than the OEM. Okay, shooters, I've been running the arrow lower with this PDQ uh, bolt catch bolt release for a few months now since I made the first part of this video. Uh, you know, in the making of the first part of this video, it's quite it was quite clear which was faster, the old school way or this PDQ. Um, but one thing I, that surprised me, uh, pleasantly, very pleasantly surprised, was how much this PDQ allows me to maintain situational awareness. When I'm doing the, the three-handed the, the, the three bolt routine, um, I always cheat. Uh, with the PDQ, I, I never have to cheat anymore. It's very, very intuitive to use. Finger presses up to catch the bolt. Finger presses down to release the bolt. It's right. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's right where it should be, right there. Um, so consequently, I never have to look at the rifle. I can always keep my situational awareness out there where it belongs instead of stuck right here. So I highly recommend the PDQ bolt release or something like that. I don't recommend uh, I, I don't recommend the Magpul bad lever or any of those iterations because 
it wasn't nearly as uh, effective or if it, as intuitive for me. I, I've gone away from that. PDQ, I like it. So, if you like what I do, please uh, sh share, subscribe. If you have any questions, ask them down below. Or you can ask them on my Facebook or, um, or uh, there's a number of ways to get a hold of me. Please ask questions if you have them. It helps me uh, find out what you guys want to see and plan for future videos. Anyhow, be safe and we'll see you next time.